Okay. Okay, uh, we're here today with Justin Beard, a uh, 2018 graduate of Sydney High School, uh, one of my favorite uh, all-time football players, the consummate teammate um, and friend. Uh, for everyone who's ever been around him, they know uh, JB really, really well. Um, Justin, go ahead and uh, explain uh, your military experience right now. Particularly, where are you? Uh, <laughs> uh, right now, I'm for deployed to 7th Fleet, which we're in Yakuska, Japan. I'll be here for four years in total. I got here in December 2018. So I've been here a little, little over a year. I'll hit my two-year mark in the Navy in June. Okay. So I left, I left boot camp about two weeks after I graduated high school. So I, I started the process pretty quick just to, you know, get out of the small town, see something else in life. Every day is a new adventure, but I love it. Some awesome. days are hard, but I, I still love every minute of it. Now, you said you've been out there for – you've been in there for two years. Uh, and how long in particular have you yeah. been in Japan at that base? Uh, I've been here since December 2018. Okay. So, right after Thanksgiving, I flew out here, and my ship got back, and I checked on board and everything. And how many times have you been and back then, uh, back home? Uh, I came back in November 2018 for about three weeks, and then just this past February, I was able to come home for about 12 days. Yeah, you slipped into the weight room a couple times. It was nice. Yep. Uh, you able to show us what you got going on around you right now? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. So right now we're in dry dock. Uh, the six in water. That's just to get more of the maintenance done. Now how long does it so take to get of, all that maintenance done? Uh, we'll be we'll be in dry dock for a year, so we won't we won't go back out to sea for at least a year. So. Um, have you been able to? You're in Japan. Have you been able to get out, test the culture out a little bit, the food, um, the nightlife, anything like that? Uh, I did a little bit last year, but last year alone, we spent over 250 days out to sea. So we were hoping this year would be kind of our uh, our year to explore Japan a little bit more. But right now, we're going on about two months now of base being on lockdown because of the coronavirus. So right now, we can't leave base. So it makes it kind of hard to explore. So I was going to be my but next I love it out if, here. Uh, if the coronavirus is uh, obviously this is all required, the face mask and all that stuff. Yeah, so if you're on base, you have to have a mask on. So it, they're really enforcing that. And, you know, there's about four times a day that when we're on duty, we're cleaning the ship, making sure no one's getting the virus. We've been – we have no pos positive cases on our ship. So it's been – we've wow. been attacking it pretty well. So, yeah, we've gotten lucky. Wow. So. Good for you guys. Um yeah. Obviously, you've done it for two years, and I know you've got a few more years uh, with your first contract there. Uh, maybe you haven't looked that far ahead, but any idea if this is something that you might go into a career or go on to something else? So you're not really sure yet, and you're just kind of taking it uh, day by day, week by week. So right now, I have till about June of 2022 to decide if I'm reenlisting. If I did, if I do reenlist, which is a good chance right now. I will go back to the States for shore duty. So I won't be on a ship. I'll be more of the opposite side of the Navy is when you go to shore duty, you're not attached to a ship. You're just doing like an everyday seven to three job and going home. Gotcha. So that's it. I'd like to do that, just get back to the States. I don't think I can do 20 years in this. You know, being on a ship, it's not for everybody. It takes a toll on you mentally, especially. Gotcha. Uh, especially because – when we are out to sea, my job, I work in a combat, and it's a pretty secret job. I'm in, I'm in charge of, like, the surface picture, trying to figure out what contacts are around us. So it can be stressful. Uh, last year in the summer, we ran into an incident where a Russian ship tried to hit us. No, so our that job was you. Is stressful. Yeah, that was our ship. I try to keep up on that stuff quite a bit, and, I, you know, you're out there, and a couple of you other guys are out. Um, in the Japan area, so 
you read that stuff and I always wonder if it's one of your guys' ships or not. Yeah, it was us. So, you know, with we have a we try to run a professional ship and when stuff like that happens, we we can usually take care of it really quick and get back to our mission. Wow. Crazy. Hey, uh, I know you got things yeah. to do today and you're busy. Uh, what does football or what did high school football mean for you? Football basically made me who I am. I could say that for sure. You know, I, when I started playing, I knew I would never be the best. That didn't bother me. It was just that, that mainly that sense of brotherhood and the relationships I made. And to make me strong mentally, it's definitely helped me in what I'm doing now. You know, this is the only job that I think I could have even close to that sense of brotherhood, and it will still never compare. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I just – it's been neat watching you grow uh, just when you were that little, little guy in seventh and eighth grade and just watching you develop <laughs> and grow um, as a man with your, uh, you know, mentally, physically, uh, and then where you are now right now in the position and the responsibilities that you have to – to handle right now with what you do is is really really neat and i'm really really proud of you man thank you coach hey it looks beautiful out there what's the what, what's the temperature look like oh it's in the 70s now i can get it get a little bit closer to the water here that's beautiful yeah you get, you get tired of seeing the ocean when you're underway, but it's still a beautiful sight every day. <laughs> well, listen, uh, JB, I'm proud of you, big dog. Uh, I love you. Take care of yourself out there. Stay healthy. And whenever you get back to the States, don't be a stranger. Make sure you see us. Absolutely, Coach. Love you, too. All right. See you, man. See you.